What's the big deal about the internet? Why is the internet the biggest obsession of the last two decades? With an estimated almost 2 billion users worldwide, the internet continues to grow in popularity as a resourceful network. Because of accessing the internet, doors open to increased communication, education, job opportunities, and more. You may also think of the World Wide Web, or WWW, when you think of the internet. It is a gigantic collection of web pages from all over the world with information on every subject you can imagine. Some of the things you can do using the internet include sending and receiving email, browsing the web, chatting, and downloading videos. Are you wondering how you can use the internet? If yes, let's get started. If you have broadband, otherwise known as high-speed internet, you are able to connect to the internet. To connect to the World Wide Web, you can double-click the Internet Explorer icon on your computer desktop. The web homepage will appear. There are three main ways to open web pages, documents, or websites. First, you can instantly arrive at a web page by typing its web address, or URL, into the web browser. To do this, click the words in the address bar. The text in the address bar becomes highlighted. Type the address of the web page you want to go to and press enter. For example, you can type www.projectendeavor.com and you'll arrive at the home page of the Project Endeavor website. You can also visit a website by clicking a text link. Text links are usually in a different color and underlined. Or you can visit a website by clicking a hyperlink graphic. Move your cursor arrow over the picture. If the arrow turns into a hand or if a web address appears in the status bar at the bottom of the screen, the graphic is hyperlinked and when you click on it, a different website will appear. Also, it is helpful to learn important commands on the toolbar. Such commands include home, back, forward, stop, refresh, and print. By clicking home, it will take you to the start page of the website. When you click back, it will take you back to the page you recently viewed. Forward will return you to the page that you backed up from. When you click Stop, all information that is loading onto the site will stop. The Refresh button will renew the web page that you are currently visiting. Finally, the print command 
will print the current page displayed on your computer screen. Another reason that people use the Internet is to download files and save the files onto their computer. Some of the most common types of files people download from the Internet include images, programs, patches and fixes, multimedia such as videos or music, and also viruses. More information about downloading files and the dangers of viruses can be found on the Project Endeavor website or by contacting the Project Endeavor Contact Center. You can save an image on a web page by moving your cursor over the image you want to save. For Windows users, click the right mouse button. A pop-up box will appear. For Macintosh users, click and hold the mouse button. A pop-up box appears. Save the image to your hard drive by selecting a Save option. Keep the current file name or rename the file. To download a file, click the file you want to download, select Save Target As from the shortcut menu, go to the folder where you want to save the file, give the file a different name if you want to, and click OK. What's more, when browsing through the internet, you may wish to search for something specific. For example, job opportunities or other information. There are many search engines with databases of millions of web documents on various topics. Such search engines include Google, Yahoo, among others.